Go ahead, uh, enjoy the scenery for a few seconds before we start the video. It is a pretty scenery, isn't it? The 2021 Daiwa Presso folks looks and feels very different from the 2020 Daiwa Luvias. But make no mistake, this is one and the same reel with different bearings and with different seals. That's it. That's all you need to know. You can get out of the video now. But if you do that, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. For those of you who want to know what exactly the differences between the two reels are and what do I think about the new reel, uh, you can hang around. First, let's start with the difference in bearings because that's all you people care about. The Daiwa Presso has three extra bearings. The first extra bearing is over here. You can see this guy on top of the spool. The second extra bearing is this guy here under the spool. And the third extra bearing is over here in the knob. The Luvius has a bearing on only one side of the knob. You know, it's funny. Hedgehog has been selling a kit upgrade bearings for the Daiwa Luvius and they give you these three bearings the two on the spool and the one on the knob and that's pretty much the only difference in bearings between the two reels the, the Hedgehog upgrade kit and you know my opinion on these three particular bearings they don't do absolutely nothing they don't help the drag they don't help the knob they they help the angler think that they've got a superior product but i don't want to go on that tangent because i'm sure this video will be very long anyway but yeah these are the three extra bearings now the remaining bearings are not exactly the same there are a couple of sealed sealed bearings in the luvias that are not sealed bearings in this reel just to get rid of extra resistance I've said this in other videos, but notice again that even in the most expensive ultralight reels, Daiwa and Shimano will put felt. For those of you who think that carbon is always superior, unless you, you're fishing in salt water and you need some you know, crazy stopping power, I much prefer the, the softness and the smoothness of felt uh, over the rough stopping power of carbon. This is, by the way, the exact same felt from Daiwa Legalis 1000. I think the grease is different. I can't confirm that, but the felt is definitely the same as in the Legalis. Folks, look at the teeth on the spool of the Luvias. I got some intel that the teeth on the spool on the Presso are cut differently they are cut like they are cut on the new exist that was my intel and i can definitely well i think i i'm feeling different kind of clicks on the new presso but for the life of me i was zooming and zooming and not just on, on camera now. You cannot see on camera, but I was trying to see some different shape here. But I cannot. Let me see if I can zoom even more. Here. Are these teeth different than the Luvias or am I imagining things? I don't know if somebody knows for sure if these teeth are cut differently than the Luvias. Let me know in the comments. They do feel differently to me. They feel definitely kind of crisper and sharper. I don't know if they are louder. I'll, I'll show you in a minute. But they do feel crisper to me. But I don't see it, folks. Maybe, my, maybe I'm getting old and my eyes are betraying me. But 
I just don't see different shape here. So maybe I'm just imagining that, keep in mind. Let me show you the sound now. All right, here we go. Very smooth clicks, reasonably loud. Much crisper, sharper clicks. And a little bit louder, even though I have to say, when I was putting the two spools back on, I had to put more pressure to put this spool because the spring of the clicker underneath was opened up more. So I had to just use more force to put the spool back. I didn't use as much force here and it's still, it's still clicker. So maybe it is louder now, but when I just first fished uh, this reel out of the box, it just didn't seem to me that it's louder. These things are very subjective. You have to take anything like this with a big you know, grain of salt, just a huge block of salt. But this was my observation. It wasn't louder before, maybe a little bit louder now, but definitely different feeling clicks. Now here is something that I found very interesting. Look at how much larger the stock handle of the Luvius is. First of all, the arm is five or 10 millimeter longer. And then the knob is just humongous. And then it has a plate here to protect the entry. But uh, look, at, look at the weights. This, I found this very surprising. 13 grams, the Presso. Check the weight of the Luvius. It's not even stock Luvius because I added the bearing here. 14 grams, only one gram more. For one gram more, I would rather have the regular knob, to tell you the truth. I got used to this knob, especially if you don't switch reels all the time. As long as you fish with the same uh, reel all day, you get used to it very quickly and you don't mind it at, at all. But uh, because like, like I said before, it tends to kind of turn, keep turning in your fingers and you don't just grab it flat like this knob. But if you fish it all day, you don't mind. But if you keep switching reels all the time, then I do find myself preferring, preferring this knob. Not because it's larger, but because it feels flat. So if the, the difference in weight is so small, I mean, this one has also more metal. So it's not one extra gram just from the knob. So I'll probably try to add a regular knob here, but they, the axle or axis inside is a different length. So I don't know if that will work out, but I'm going to try that later. But yeah, keep in mind the handle, uh, the handle difference. Okay, now let's uh, talk about some differences between the two reels that do actually matter for good or for bad. We have a seal here, okay. We don't have a seal here. All of the seals, pretty much, of the Luvius were removed in the Presso. This is a very important difference. The mag seal here under the spool is removed. This seal is removed, another seal on this side is also removed. So these two seals and the seal on the main shaft are removed to reduce the resistance. Another thing that is removed from this reel is the nasty grease on the main gear. To this day, I don't know if Daiwa intentionally sabotaged this reel with a tractor grease just so later they can release another model with ultralight grease that will feel much better and much more ultralight, shall we say. If you watch my video of the Luvius, which you should if you're interested in the Presso because it will help you understand where the Presso is coming from. 
I say that in that video that the resistance is absolutely depressing. But I am here to tell you today, folks, that all of the resistance issues in this reel are completely solved in this new Presso. Both of these reels are 2000 size and but they come the presto comes with a shorter handle here significantly shorter i don't know if it's five or ten millimeters but i mean it looks a lot shorter you can tell right away but even with the shorter handle you can tell immediately that the resistance in this reel is gone but you know the funniest thing is if you actually get this handle from the Luvius with this super large leverage and screw this handle on the Presso just to test. I know it's different color, but if you use the Luvius handle on this reel, oh my God, I mean, it, it's like the reel has zero resistance at all. This is uh, how you can compare the, dif the difference in resistance between the two reels. Use the same handle in both reels. Use the short handle in the stock Luvius and you'll see how much the real resistance is. Or use the larger handle, which is kind of a cheating way to remove resistance. If you put really long handle, eventually the resistance will be gone. But okay, I don't want to waste too much time on this. But like I said, I am here to tell you that the resistance problems are completely solved in this reel. Okay, Victor, now I know what the differences between the two reels are, but I still don't know which of these two Luvius reels I should buy. Why can't you just tell me which one is a better deal? So I just, you know, buy this one and I don't have to get headaches make, making these decisions. And the problem with this is I don't know you. I don't know what you like. I don't know what rod you're gonna pair this with. I don't know what's more important to you, but here is some things to consider. This Luvius over here, let's see if I can focus, but it says made in Japan. This Presso, which is also a Luvius and shares all of the same parts, the frame, the gears, the bearings, Everything that matters is the same. But this reel is made in China. This reel has been used for almost two years now and it has been used a lot. And even today, I don't know if you can hear, but this reel is nearly silent, okay? This reel came brand new out of the box. Let me see if I can show you the noises. Out of the box, pretty noisy. You can hear probably the noise over my son. It came pretty noisy. Now, I'm not saying that all of the Daiwa Presso reels will be noisy and all of the Daiwa Luvius reels will be silent. Because if, if you buy two Luvius from the same, you know, retailer, one of them will feel better than the other. And the same, if you buy two Presso, one of them will feel better than the other. So I cannot say this for all reels, but for some reason, these Luvias were manufactured in Japan and these Presso reels were manufactured in China. Now, somebody told me that the new Luvias right now, if you buy it, they're ma manufactured in China also. I cannot confirm that, but in my opinion, in the long run, if you buy like a hundred reels of each, and if you buy these reels that were manufactured in Japan, they will come and they will feel more silent and even a little bit tighter. The extra grease that, you know, they put on the main gear, you can say all you want about resistance, but does create additional feeling of smoothness and connectedness and silentness. So many, many people, I suspect will actually prefer the feel of my Japanese Luvius over the Chinese Luvius. Even though the Chinese Luvius, I personally prefer the feel 
much more just because of how free, how little, you know, inertia and resistance the reel has. So for me personally, I prefer the feel of the Presso, but I believe most people just care for smoothness and they don't even know what, you know, resistance is. And most people will already feel and think that the Luvius has very low resistance. So it's really personal. Then you have the aesthetics. I already mentioned in the previous video, to me this reel looks nicer. But if you're gonna pair it with a presso rod, you kinda have to have the presso. For me it is absolutely inexcusable. I hope this video gets forwarded to a Daiwa team. This, this presso sign should have been engraved in orange. These guards here should have been black. This butt should have been black. This is an absolute disgrace to put chrome parts here uh, for bling. And on the one place where this is the most important, you know, part of the whole reel. Uh, that's why people buy with the reel, because it's a presso. Uh, this you cannot read. So... The aesthetics are personal, the feeling, the, the silent and, you know, better feel of the Luvias versus the lower resistance here uh, is personal. But what bothers me personally the most and why I, I, I can't recommend the Presso is this. Pretty much to get the Presso from a Luvias, you have to just remove parts. You have to remove this seal. You have to remove this seal. You have to remove the magnetic oil and all of the associated parts here. And by the way, just to put this uh, magnetic oil here on the main shaft, there is like 9 or 10 parts associated with it. So you're not just removing the oil. You're removing all of these little screws and plates that create a bed for the oil. Uh, to, to hold the oil. So when you remove the magnetic seal, you remove all of these nine or 10 parts. So uh, the, the Luvias actually has 10 extra parts than the Presso. Okay, the Presso has the three bearings that um, are instead of bushings, but the Presso is $80 more. And how do you get a reel you remove all of the seals and the reel is now no longer usable in salt conditions. But you get a reel that costs $240, 45 your mileage will vary. Uh, you remove 10 parts from this reel and you get a reel that costs $80 more. How did that happen? These three silly bearings cost $20 altogether. I mean, how do you remove parts and you end up with more expensive reel? This really bothers me. The other thing that bothers me is the games that Daiwa keeps playing with the model names. You have the Luvius Arity, which is a 2018 Exist. Why didn't they name it Exist whatever so with some letters and sell that reel there? Now that reel, the Luvius Arity, is not a Luvius, but they name it Luvius. Now this reel, that is a Luvius, is named Presso. Now how do you make sense of these Daiwa games that are playing? The reels that was not Luvius was named Luvius. The reel that is Luvius is named Presso, but it's not Presso. I mean, this, these games, these are this is disinformation is a very popular uh, word. This is intentional misinformation from Daiwa to, to create different perception. Okay, I, I strongly object this. You know, the Tatula family of reels, ballistic, uh, is a Tatula with seals. Okay. And then Ballistic has uh, Ballistic FW, stands for fresh water. And it's pretty much the same thing with these two reels. They got a Ballistic, but they removed the seals and they kind of tried to reduce the resistance. 
The proper name, without a doubt, for this reel should have been Luvius FW, Luvius Freshwater, because this is exactly what this is. It's a freshwater Luvius. The seals are removed and the resistance is gone. This is the proper name. But if they name it Luvius FW, they will not be able to charge $100 more. And this is why the, the games with the Presso, because Presso is a flagship model. And that's why they're making money from the, from the brand, from the Presso brand. But one thing to keep also in mind here is, remember the 2017 Presso, which I have over there, and is a far superior reel than this thing here. Uh, is actually a Presso Limited, the 2017. The 2014 is not limited, but is inferior to the 2017. So now I'm thinking, I'm, I'm making a bet here. Let's see if, I'll, if I'm right. There will be a Presso Limited that will actually have nothing in common with this reel, even though the, the name will be the same. There will be a Presso Limited, which will be a freshwater or watered down version of the new Exist. And the new Presso Limited will be a far nicer reel than this. And it will be on completely new platform, even though it will have the same name as this reel. So at the end of the day, do I think this reel is worth the extra $80? If you like these aesthetics and the resistance is more, the low resistance is important enough for you, then yeah, um, I would say it is worth the $80 because even though it's made in China and it's a little bit louder, more scratching noises, you're not going to feel them on the water and you will absolutely love the low resistance of this reel. The drag clicks a little bit nicer, but you have to be enthusiast to justify uh, this extra money. Thanks for watching this one all the way to the end. See you soon. Bye-bye.